All right, everyone, welcome back. In our last video, if you remember, we ended on me wanting to set a blind set right on the back side of this back, and coyotes dug this up, and tracks were all around it. Today, we have nothing but deer tracks. They must be attracted to this open dirt. Here's that right hole that he keeps going for, and my trap pan is right here. They seem to be coming through about every week. So I got that trap bedded solid. Let's see what happens. Got the digger, baby. Boom. Here he is. We got the digger. Both traps more than likely got caught, got caught in our blind set. And then while he's fighting that trap, got caught in our original set. But regardless, we got this coyote. We'll get this guy taken care of and uh, move on to the next. Here's our remake. Dirt hole trap in the front, and I did reset that trap on the back side of that backing just in case. This was a female coyote, so her boyfriend should definitely be coming back. Back up on this point, and this was the second set. That's the set where we caught that female. And it looked like another coyote came back and investigated that. Just will not enter that circle. So I came over here. This is that second set we had put in. Right here, I have a little punch hole. And all I did was took a little tuft of her hind end fur, shoved it down in that hole. And I put a little punch hole right here. And now this punch hole here, I'm just going to cover up. And all that I want him to do, I'm assuming it's a him, is if he comes back here, I just want him to sniff around this area because this smells like her. And it's blended in nice. So he should not, I, I, I wouldn't assume him being, you know, wary and, and sketchy of coming into this set. So we're just going to give it a whirl, see what happens. Here's a set we put in for with that uh, female's fur you can see something dug right here where we had that fur shift to the left and something dug right here i'm assuming it's her boyfriend what i'm gonna do is clean this set up and i mean we're gonna have to get just wait it out and hope he steps in the middle i don't have any other traps for me to kind of blind set him with no snow it's kind of hard to tell which way he's coming in and that trap it is right there and it looks like a print Right here, so hopefully whatever it is comes back. Big old boar up on this power line. Area is acting all tough. We'll get him taken care of. Move on to the next. Back on that farm where we caught that coyote about a week ago. And uh, I haven't made any catches. You could see we're getting bombarded with rain. And it actually just started raining again. So let's get over this point and see if anything came through. Highly doubtful. But let's go check some traps. Ho <laughs> ho! Got us another big old raccoon. Got him in a dog proof. We'll get this guy taken care of. Move on to the next. The thing I wanted to point out with these Diablos is on the bottoms of them, they have this nice dump door to clean them out. I just bought them on a wham. They were the cheapest dog proofs, so I bought them. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was a cool feature. The other dog proofs I have, they have no dump door and they get all nasty. So just figured I'd point that out. If you're looking for dog proofs, I think they're somewhere around 11, 12 bucks a piece, something like that. Maybe even a little cheaper.